Hello friends. Today we will uh, configure uh, voice over IP setup, and we are following the topology as we can see in the screen. Here we have four different sites: site A, site B, site C, and site D. On each site we have. Uh, an IP phone setup as well as PC or data setup. For this setup, we have uh, ch uh, chosen the switch is 2960 and the router is 2811 series, which supports the telephony service in Cisco, uh, Cisco packet tracer. All the sites are connected via another router. And we will use uh, OSPF as a routing protocol among um, these routers. So, guys, let's start with our site A. Here we have a switch, and on switch first and second port, um, our uh, uh, IP phones and computers are connected. Here you can see that one of our computer is connected to the switch via this IP phone. We will learn how to connect these uh, uh, PCs and IP phones on a single uh, port as well as we will learn how to configure the telephony service on this router <coughs> and how we will plan the different uh, dial pair on uh, a single router for all these different sites so guys let's start with our switch here we have a switch and we will configure it configure terminal host name is okay switch a which represents the switch of site a we will configure two vlans vlan 10 and VLAN 20 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 you can see that on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 we are connecting our uh, IP phone as well as our PC so <coughs> VLAN 10 is uh, the VLAN 10 is for our voice setup and VLAN 20 is for our data setup of site A. So, switch port mode access, switch port voice VLAN 10, switch port access VLAN 20. Both the VLANs are connected on a single port of 0 slash 1. Exit interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 on 0 slash 2. We are connecting our IP phone only. Switch port mode access, switch port wise VLAN 10. Exit now, our trunk port will be 24. Enter for phase fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 which port mode X uh, sorry trunk which port trunk allowed 10 and 20 10 and 20. Configuration of this switch is done. Now we will configure our router. Config terminal. Host name is router site A. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 which is connected with the trunk port of this switch. 
first of all no shut down then we will configure our sub interfaces interface fast extended zero slash zero dash ten encapsulation dot one q ten IP address will be one nine two one six eight ten dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero and now we will configure our second sub interface interface for zero slash zero dot twenty encapsulation dot one q twenty IP address is one nine two one six eight twenty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero now we will configure our serial interface zero slash two slash zero interface zero slash two slash zero sorry and now shut down ip address for our van interface will be 1.1.1 one dot one dot one router ospf one Network one nine two one six eight ten dot zero wildcard mask area zero network one nine two one six eight twenty dot zero network one dot one dot one dot zero This is done now we will configure our DHCP servers on this router IP DHCP pool name will be site Site A Network is one nine two one six eight ten dot zero two five five two five five two five five dot zero default route is one nine two one six eight Ten dot one and option one fifty IP one nine two one six eight ten dot one. This option helps and the IP phone to fetch its configuration from the router. As you will see that we will configure our uh, IP phones on router. This is done on router here. Now we will configure second DHCP server for our data VLAN. IP DHCP pool data A. Network will be one nine two one six eight twenty dot zero subnet mask default router is one two one six eight twenty dot one and option one fifty IP one nine two one six eight twenty dot one sorry We don't need this command for our data network. 
as computer don't need to fetch its configuration. Now we will configure our telephony service on our router. Telephony service done. Here we have options maximum directory number is two as we are using only two IP phones maximum e phones are also two IP source address will be one nine two one six eight ten dot one and port will be the range of port is from two thousand to nine and uh, 9999 we will use this port 2000 and auto assign 122 this router will automatically assign the um, directory numbers to the IP phones this is done now we will configure our dial peer dial peer voice our dial peer one will be for our side two on this router wipe here we have destination pattern as we will use destination pattern of this site as two two uh, two zero zero two so destination pattern will be 200 and dot and then session target will be ipv4 dot ip address of this interface 2.2.2.1 this is done and now we will use um, if directory number one and number is one double zero one similarly if Number is one double zero two two right. Now let's enable our means Still our PC is a here you can see that PCA has been assigned with an IP address of 20.2. Let me check our IP phones. Still IP phone is fetching its configuration from the router. Let's start our further configuration interface serial 0 slash 2 dash zero clock rate sixty four thousand moon has been registered here you can see right memory do right okay let me show you here you can see the uh, number has been assigned to the moons Lily, this one let me show you whether they are able to ring on ring with to each other it is busy why
it is ringing now you can see it is connected now okay let's start first we will configure our site b in the same pattern config terminal host name is h p vlan 30 vlan 40 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 you can see the connectivity topology here 0 slash 1 and then which port mode access which port voice lan 30 which port access vlan 40 interface fast is less dash 2 which port mode access which port voice vlan 30 interface fast Ethernet this is slash 24 which port mode trunk which port trunk allowed vlan 30 and 40 do right let's start our routers configuration enable config terminal host name router b interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30 encapsulation dot 1q 30 ip address 192.168.30 dot one subnet mask and exit interface fast ethernet zero slash zero dot forty encapsulation dot one q forty IP address one nine two one six eight forty dot one subnet mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero x exit interface fast ethernet sorry serial zero slash two slash zero clock rate sixty four thousand no shutdown IP address two dot two dot two dot one Two five five two five five two five five dot zero <sighs> router OSPF one network one nine two one six eight thirty dot zero wildcard mask area zero network one nine two one six eight forty dot zero area zero network two dot two dot two dot zero and wild card mask area zero <laughs> telephony service and maximum directory numbers two maximum e phones two IP source address 192.168.30.1 port 2000 this is done for our telephony auto assign 122 then dial pair voice 
one for our site A. <coughs> Wipe this. Okay. Destination pattern will be one hundred as we have assigned the phone number as one double zero one one double zero two. So our pattern will be one double zero. And session target will be IP V four one dot one dot one dot one IP address of this interface. Okay, now we will assign the phone numbers mm, e phone dot must phone number two double zero one e phone directory number two and number two double zero two IP PHCP pool will be eight B network one nine two one six thirty dot zero with mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero default router one nine two one six eight thirty dot one and option one fifty IP one nine two one six eight thirty dot one IP DHCP pool data B network one nine two one six eight forty dot zero two five five two five default router one nine two one six eight forty dot one exit to right let me switch on the IP phones Now we will configure our site B. E. Let's start with the switch. Next up. Still okay. Must we and figure our complete topology then we will check configure terminal host name switch of site b vlan 50 vlan 60 interface 0 slash 1 is connected with the ip address and the pc Interface fast extend zero slash one switch port mode access switch port voice VLAN thirty sorry voice VLAN fifty and switch port access VLAN sixty interface fast extend zero slash two which is connected with the IP phone only switch port mode access switch port voice VLAN 60 interface fast zero slash 24 which will be the trunk port switch port mode trunk switch port trunk allowed VLAN 50 and Sixty to right. 
now we will configure our router enable configure terminal host name router of c interface for Fast Ethernet zero slash zero. No shutdown. Interface Fast Ethernet zero slash zero dot fifty. Encapsulation dot one Q fifty. IP address one nine two one six fifty dot. One subnet mask is two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Now default. Okay. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero dot t encapsulation dot one q sixty i P address one nine two one six eight sixty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero default okay sorry now router interface serial zero slash two slash zero no shutdown IP address will be three dot three dot three dot two two five five two five five two five five dot zero clock rate will be sixty four thousand router OSPF one network is three dot three dot three dot zero network one nine two one six eight fifty dot zero network one nine two one six eight sixty dot zero <sighs> IP DHCP pool of Right. E network is one nine two one six eight fifty dot zero two five five two five five two five five zero. I think I have configured the no. We will configure DHCP default router one nine two one six eight fifty dot one option one fifty IP one nine two one six eight fifty dot one IP DHCP pool data E network one nine two one six eight sixty dot zero two five five two five five zero default router one nine two one six eight sixty dot one and it is done now we will configure telephony services Here we have the telephony service enabled IP. Sorry, maximum directory number two, maximum e two IP source address will be one nine two one six eight three dot one port two thousand. And 
part two the fine one two two sorry it is done now we will configure our dial pier one for site a dial pier voice will voice one for wipe it will be our uh, dial pier for our um, site a here we have destination pattern one double zero session target will be ipv4 1.1.1.1 turn max e phone directory one number is two three double zero one Similarly, key phone directory number two and number is three double zero two. It is done. Do right now. We will configure our dial pier voice VLAN two for our site B. Destination pattern is 200 and session target is IPv4 2.2.2.2. Do right. And uh, now we will switch on our IP phones. You can see. PC has been assigned with an IP address of 192.168.40.2. Let me check the IP. Yes. Numbers has also been assigned to the IP phones. Desktop. DHCP enables. IP phone uh, IP has been assigned to the computer. Now we will configure our last site, which is site D. Enable configure terminal host name is which D VLAN. 70 and VLAN eighty interface fast Ethernet zero slash one switch port mode access which port voice VLAN seventy which port Access VLAN eighty interface for Citra zero slash two switch port mode access switch port voice VLAN seventy interface for Citra zero slash twenty four switch port mode sorry.
switch port to face or this is a slash two. Twenty four, which port mode trunk, which port trunk loud VLAN seventy and eighty to right. Now we will configure our router of site D. No, enable config terminal host name router D interface fast is a zero slash zero no shutdown interface fast is a zero slash zero dot seventy encapsulation dot one q seventy IP address one nine two one six eight seventy dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero interface for zero zero slash zero dot t encapsulation dot one q t ip address one nine two one six eight eighty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero IP DHCP pool uh, site D network one nine two one six eight seventy dot zero and uh, subnet mask is two five five two five five dot zero default router one nine two one six eight seventy dot one and Option one fifty P one nine two one six eight seventy dot one IP DHCP pool data dash D network one nine two one six eight eighty dot zero and subnet this default router one nine two one six eight eighty dot one it is done now router o spf one network one nine two one six eight seventy dot zero wildcard mark Area zero network one nine two one six eight dot zero wild card area zero network four dot four dot four dot area zero interface serial zero slash two slash zero clock rate sixty four thousand no shutdown IP address is four dot four dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero two right okay let me on our IP phones is on Now we will configure our telephony service. Telephony service. Here we will configure battery number two, maximum 
e4 to ip source address 192.168.70.1 port is 2000 it is done now we will configure our dial peer one for site a dial peer voice one wipe here we have and destination pattern is 100 and session target will be p v out mm, 1.1.1.1 it if phone directory number one number will be four double zero one similarly a phone directory number two and number is four double zero two dial peer two why is two or upper side b destination pattern is two hundred and session target IP be two dot two dot two dot one to right IP address has been assigned to our Numbers have also been assigned. It is still working. Till then, we will configure our transmission router, which connects all the sites together. Configure terminal. Host name is van router. Okay, interface serial zero slice zero slice zero no shutout. It is connected with the site C. The address is three dot three dot two two five five two five five two five zero. Interface serial zero slash zero slash one no shutdown is connected with the ID and IP address is four dot four dot four dot two two five five two five five. Interface serial zero slash one slash zero no shutdown disconnected with the right A P address A one dot one dot one 
dot one dot two two five five two five dot zero interface serial just like slash no shutdown disconnected with this id p here we have ip address as 2.2.2.2255255 now router f ospf one work will be one dot one dot one dot zero while card is two five one network two dot two dot zero while card one and eight so network three dot three dot three dot zero Now all the more sites are connected with each other. Let me add the dial peers of site C and D on router A. Enable config terminal dial peer voice for third our site C wipe session target ipv4 3.3.3.1 destination pattern will be 300 similarly for site d dial peer voice or type session target will be p p four four dot four dot four dot one and destination pattern is notable zero bash similarly we will configure our peers of site C and D on router B. Simple config terminal dial peer wise 3 3 wise 3 wipe session target IPv4 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 1 and session target and destination pattern three double zero dot now and dial here or 
and we have session target as IPv4 4.4.4.1 and destination pattern will be double zero dot It is done to write. Let us check our communication. We have extension number 2001. Let me dial 3001. It is ringing. This means I can pick up the call from our and write C. Here you can see my extension number is 3001 whereas call is coming from 2001. It is connected. Similarly, we can dial It is also ringing in site A and it is connected. Now let me check site D four double zero one. It is unknown number. Let me troubleshoot till they are unable to get the IP address till it is done exit show running config here we have configured network default router this We didn't figure auto assign or our ID IP phones configure terminal telephony service auto sign one two two. You can see phone has been registered here now. Second phone has also been registered. Now let me call from this extension. It is ringing. You can see connected. So, friend, this is how you can configure IP telephone setup in Cisco. In today's lab, we learned how to configure the telephony service of the Cisco routers and similarly how to they will configure option 150 and what the option 150 uh, uh, how the option 150 helps the IP phone to fetch the configuration from the router basically option 150 is TFTP server which allows the 
IP phones to fetch their configuration from their respective routers. This is how you establish your uh, IP phone setup. So friends, if you have any query regarding this lab, you can ask me in my comments. Thank you.